Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on testicular atrophy. For introduction, the mean volume of the adult testis is 18.6 plus minus 4.8 milliliters. Testicles with a smaller volume than this can be described as atrophic. Testicles are often measured by using an ellipsoid orchidometer. By this method most adults have a volume of more than 15 milliliters per testicle. These are some of the possible conditions associated with testicular atrophy. The more common ones are trauma, cirrhosis of liver, and varicocele. Other less common conditions include Kleinfelter's syndrome, prader willi syndrome, hypopituitarism, infection, or anabolic steroid use. For its mechanism, 70-80% to 80 of testicular volume is made up of seminiferous tubules, so any damage or dysfunction to these may cause atrophy. Normal development of the testicles requires adequate blood flow and appropriate amounts of luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone. Testicular atrophy can be caused by ischemia, trauma, lack of hormonal stimulation in primary or secondary hypogonadism, or a primary genetic abnormality. Kleinfelter's syndrome is one of the causes for testicular atrophy. In this syndrome, there is genetic abnormality causing extra X chromosome. Gonadotropins LH and FSH rise during puberty. The seminiferous tubules fibrose and shrink, and may become obliterated. Hence, the volume of the testicle is reduced. Another cause is the prader willi syndrome, where there is genetic abnormality on chromosome 15. This leads to decreased production of gonadotropin-releasing hormone, which leads to low or altered FSH or LH levels, and less stimulation of the testicles to produce testosterone and sperm. Testicular atrophy occurs due to underutilization. In cases of anabolic steroid use, exogenous steroids cause suppression of the hypothalamic axis, in particular LH production. Therefore suppression of testosterone production, ultimately leading to atrophy. In varicocele cases, the mechanisms are due to increased scrotal temperature, altered blood flow, increased oxidative stress, and decreased testosterone production. Liver cirrhosis can also cause testicular atrophy. A damaged liver will be unable to break down androgen, hence more available androgens for peripheral conversion to estrogen. Liver is also unable to break down normally produced estrogens. So high levels of estrogen cause reduced testosterone and sperm production, and decreased seminiferous tubule size, resulting in testicular atrophy. Alcohol can directly or indirectly cause atrophy of the testicles. Directly, alcohol and some of its breakdown products are toxic to Leydig cells and decrease spermatogenesis. Indirectly, alcohol can suppress hypothalamic and pituitary function, causing reduced LH levels. That's all for this video. Thank you.